Uh, we get a Friday yeah, show on deck. Yeah, uh, we got picks. We got picks. We got fucking. Right, settle down, all right? Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Episode 56. Fuck ostrich. <laughs> fuck nice, you. Bro. I'm that boss. What's up, boys? We got a big Friday show for us today. Sunday picks. Yep. Advice Fridays, which is now a separate show. But we'll still Whoa, 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 whoa. You're just telling us this now? Next week, if you want to submit your advice, Casey at Lumberland.com. We got on the record at 8 p.m. Uh, mug shots at 5 p.m. today. Great snack time last we'll night. I guess. Yeah, if you didn't check out that snack time. And then we got a snack time showdown on Sunday at 6 p.m. Let's get into it. A White Sox hire. Hall of Fame, Tony La Russa. Stupid decision. We From got the nursing home. We got the so mock dumb. draft shows LaMelo Ball at number one, but is he worth it? We got mm -hmm. mic'd up players showing that Matt Ryan specifically told Gurley not to score to avoid loss of possession. And we got the Dodgers first baseman, Shades Commissioner, over a piece of metal comment. And of course, Trevor Lawrence, COVID. Trevor Lawrence, coronavirus. All right, let's get into it. White Sox hire, Tony La Russa. Stupid. Can't believe it. Dumb. How old Can't is this guy? It. 70, he's 76 years old. 76 years old, he hasn't managed in eight years. He's on the verge of fucking like... 2011, right? Yeah. I, I, I just can't believe this. I can't believe this. How long do they think this guy's gonna last? He looks old as fuck. He is! He managed the White Sox from 1979 to 1986. Yeah, he won with the Cardinals in 2011. Yeah. And 2006. Three-time world champ. Yeah, uh, it's a questionable hire. It's a very questionable hire. That's a very young team. You thought they'd go with a guy like Cora or somebody. Mm-hmm. I thought they were going to go with like a guy like Cora. You thought the White the Sox were going to hire Cora? You said the Red Sox were going to hire I was Cora. saying a guy like him, like someone who's like younger. Yeah, like his brother or something. Either that or... Maybe know, his twin brother. Somebody. Who well, else? Rusa, I mean, yeah. <laughs> they got a lot of like foreign guys too. Like, is he going to... Is he the guy to lead? I don't know. Well, not only that, but like... What do you see? What do you what do you realistically think you're gonna get out of him? A season, two? What do you think you're gonna get out of him? It's got to be a band aid. Yeah, but here's the thing: like if that that's so awful to have to change managers in another two years. The last thing you need is to keep switching around with managers. Why do you think they decided to hire him? Because of his name. It's that's, ridiculous, if you yeah. ask me. Yeah, I mean, I I don't like the move at all. If I'm a Chicago White Sox fan, I don't like the move. Why? Just because he's old? He's old and. He's not going to be around for long. And the team's really young. Uh, so why would you why would you want to hire a manager then a season or two later? Let's say La Russa gets tired after one season. Yeah. Because hopefully next year they play 162 games again. Who the fuck knows what happens next year? But so let's just assume it's back to a normal baseball schedule. Not a normal life schedule, but a normal baseball schedule. What are you going to do? Well, that's the other thing. Is he going to really I fucking mean, last 162 games? And travel all over the place. Oh no! By the way, there is a thing called coronavirus oh, yeah. that's out, that's and he's very, say. very, he's very fucking. He can be very vulnerable. Well, when yeah. does the new season start? Again, if things get better, this is a big if. Spring training is supposed to be in February. So you have spring training down in Florida or Arizona, oh, yeah. both fucking extreme hot spots. Yeah, shit ain't happening. And then if they yeah. go back to the quote unquote normal schedule, you have to start traveling. Oh, yeah. So how's a 76-year-old going to fucking travel 81, different, 81 games on the road? Like, I, I That's why I was surprised he signed up. Like, yeah. Why would he want to do like, it? Why yeah. are you signing up? I mean, he had a perfect role he being managed. a fucking being an advisor to these teams. Doesn't the have Sox, to do right? much. Yeah, he was with the Red Sox for two seasons. Last year? No. Uh, once Dombrowski got fired, he was let go, too. Uh, that was Dombrowski. And then so he's just been out of the job? No, he was with he was with the Angels last year. Uh, what was he doing for them? I mean, he's, just, he's just an advisor for them. Like he, you know, helps with the free agents and you know, scouting and all kinds of stuff. I feel like that would be a good role for him. Perfect role. Yeah. Joe Torre fucking works with MLB. Perfect role. You don't. You're not gonna see Joe Torre. Joe Torre would be a better manager. He's, he's got to be almost 80 years old. No. Joe Torre? Look up how old Joe Torre is. Yeah, I, bet you, I bet you he's older than LaRusso. I bet you he's older than LaRusso. No way. He's like 85. No, he's I, not. I didn't say 85. I said older than LaRusso. 80. He's 80 years old. No, he's I not. told you. Yeah. He's, I told you. Wow. I told you. Yep. I, I don't like it. They're going to have to fucking get a new manager. Yeah, that's. In like two years. 
if he even makes it through the season. Is there like a contract? Or? I mean, I'm sure. The, <laughs> is there a contract? You, you you understand my concept? Like, yes, he's got. He has to actually have a contract. I, <laughs> no, I meant like, the, is there a certain number of years that you like agree to? I, I mean, if they sign him to a one year deal, I'd love to know what the fucking deal is. Can I, can we look try to find? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know too. Oh, I just asked you, so can we figure it out? I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. I'll take Get that care of shit it. up. I mean, it'd be one thing if, like, you were in a coronavirus-stricken year and you were in a position like the Astros. They hired Dusty Baker, which was a band-aid for 60 games. Like, that's different, but, like... Ron Renneke. That was a fucking inexper- inexperienced nurse fucking putting in stitches and the fucking stitches popped out when you walked out of the ER. LaMelo Ball, the number one pick. I mean, I've heard that the NBA draft prospects are very weak this year. Now, again, you have to understand one thing. It's a shot in the dark because they didn't have an NCAA tournament. That's how you really fucking start blowing up with guys. I I don't know. I think the whole thing's an absolute crapshoot. I don't think LaMelo Ball should be the first pick. Is he really that good? I mean, Lonzo went second. Right. He hasn't really lived up to second. I mean, no. he's a good player. Yeah, but he's not a but superstar. He's not, well, doesn't, he's doesn't not his like shot suck? Isn't this shot, wasn't this shot waffle or something? Iffy. The only other guy would be Anthony Edwards. Do you know who that is? Uh, I heard about him this morning when I was looking up shit, but no. Anthony Edwards? Uh, Georgia, 50% from the two-point, 29.4% from the three-point. And that's your first overall pick? And then LaMelo's stats are he's only played 12 games in Australia, but it was enough to catch the heavy attention of NBA scouts. Australia, <laughs> though. Due Australia. to his heavy pass first mentality he has picked up since being overseas, he's got 204 points, 82 assists, and the two points, 45 percent, three point 25 percent, 19 steals. It's yeah, tough to compare the stats. I, yeah, it's two different leagues. Not enough playing time for Lamelo. It's 12 yeah. games. Not feeling it, Casey. Ain't feeling it. Fucking, did you hear Melo refused to sign with Big Baller Brand? This kid? Is that still a thing? Yeah. I, well, say, I don't know. Big Bill, you know well, big Lonzo's Bill. not signed. With yeah, Lonzo refused to. Well, I think they're Melo not allowed refused, to, right? Yeah. Aren't they not allowed to sign with it? I no, know. I think they were. I think there was, there was just some sketchy shit going on with one of the business partners. I've definitely yeah. heard about that. Yeah. Fucking Lamar's a dickhead. Yeah. Put him on. The, put, him, put him on the shit list. So how did we do last night? What was the score? Uh, I did good. Uh, Will I think is the only one that won last night. Jaguar, wait, Jaguar Jaguars. Jaguars. Who's the Jaguars. Who's the Falcons at Panthers? Jaguars you and I, you and I, you and I lost and Will won. Damn. Yeah, you guys both took Carolina. Atlanta won outright. How did Atlanta Joey do? I'll with? tell you one thing. Ever since they fucking got rid of that coach, they've looked like a different team. They're talented. They got more talent. I bet you, Mr. Blank, Carolina. is thinking a little differently now about well, moving on from yeah. Ryan now. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised. I, I'm starting to feel this. I, like, I thought that was a fluke thing, but then they lost to Detroit, and I'm like, are they really there yet? I mean, here's the thing. If Todd Gurley just stayed out of the end zone, they would have won the last three games. Can you believe that? Yeah, so I guess Matt Ryan specifically told Gurley not to score, but to get the first and get down. I mean, he tried not to score and accidentally fell in. <laughs> he accidentally fell over yeah, the Yeah, but you should have yeah. stopped. Yeah. You should have stopped. Well, he didn't know where there. he was because he, like, broke through the hole. And then he like realized that he needed to stop and slow down to like put the brakes on. Yeah. And then like fell, but, but the, like the ball, fell in. The ball was in the end zone, yeah. Because they wanted to run the clock out. Yeah, they yeah. were just yeah. gonna run the clock out. But now you give, now you have to give the Detroit Lions. They give them a chance with one minute left. And I don't know if they had timeouts or not. I'm assuming they did. And they came back and fucking won. Breaks through Scores. the hole. <laughs> Tries to slow down. He's already in. All they had to do was knee the ball three times. The game was over. Just go down right there. Yeah. You just go down. If that guy towels, you just go right down with him. Like yeah, that was going against him in fantasy. He scored. All right, we got the Dodgers first baseman throwing shade at commissioner over a piece of metal comment. What? Which first baseman? Max Muncy. Shout out to Max Muncy, buddy. First made to his comment was a catch on an insta pick, capturing him holding the trophy, saying, what a nice piece of metal. Hilarious when, like, they were criticizing the Astros. They're like, "Are you gonna take the trophy away? Like, are you gonna like? They don't deserve that. Like, they cheated." Manfred says, "It's just a piece of metal. Like, we're not gonna yeah. win." Yeah, it's just a piece of. And metal. all these guys are like, "This is literally what our like lives are. We were working our whole lives yeah. for this thing." 
Manfred. Fuck Manfred. Fuck Manfred. Fuck Take Manfred. a shot saying fuck Manfred. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Missing the BC game tomorrow. They're saying he'll be back for Notre Dame. Oh, next Clemson's week. playing BC. Clemson's playing BC tomorrow. That would be a bloodbath. I mean, I went to that game last year. Clemson's still gonna fucking kill him. Oh my what birthday. was the score last year? A lot to a little. A lot to a little. They did upset Clemson the year before. I'm pretty sure. Did they? Yeah. I'm gonna say no shot, Moreno. <laughs> I I don't know about that. <laughs> That was, the the year, that, that was the year they won the national championship. Uh, they went yeah. undefeated, bro. Uh, the year, I mean, the year before that. <laughs> Back in 20. One of those years, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back in 84. <laughs> when Doug Flutie was around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> so, Charlie Lawrence. Any other so, people are going to so, have it? Um, I mean, I don't know how you can't not have it, but, you know, Especially again. Especially at college. These guys are in the Again, dorms. fucking, who the fuck knows? Who yeah. the fuck knows? So who's I their wonder back? how much money Lawrence is getting from the boosters down there. Who's oh, tons. Tons. Money? Tons. <laughs> who's, their, who's their backup? Doesn't matter. Their backup's better than the BC's quarterback, so fucking, they'll be, they'll be just fine. No, it's this, um, they got this tall kid. I think he's like 6'4". You're just going to hand the ball off the whole game. He's a freshman. Well, DJ Ugalagi. Next man. How do you up. say that? Ugalagi Lee. Went to John Bosco in Cali. Shout they, out to they Cali. Freed, freed the quarterback out there. Oh, Speaking John of that, Bosco. we hope everybody's safe out there with the wildfires that are going on in California. If you live out there, our thoughts and prayers are with you. I know it's awful out there. Those We're are thinking still about going, you. Huh? Stay safe. You don't see? You haven't heard about the freaking wildfires out there? I feel like there's always fires. Yeah, man. but this is like really big. Really? This yeah. is like... Uh, you want to take a peek? This is big time shit. They got 80 mile an hour fucking winds out there. It's happening right now. Well, it's been happening. It's happening. Holy Stay shit. Stay safe out there, everybody. Damn. Stay safe in California. All right. Listen to the authorities. <laughs> What's oh, uh, before we do Sunday picks, I do want to say a little suspicious that Stephon Gilmore was put on the uh, injury report yesterday. The injury report in the house. In his house one Something's going down with Mr. Gilmore. He put the listing for the house and said all offers must be in by Tuesday at 4 o'clock, which is the trade deadline. <laughs> no yeah. way. No yes. He's he out of here. He's out of here. He did. He what? won't. He's not going to play on, the he's not gonna play on, on the Sunday. House. He's getting traded. This is all in the works. What? You mark my words. By Tuesday, Gilmore's off the team. No. I love Gilmore. I love the guy. I met him. Great guy. The name of my fantasy team is Happy Gilmore. Oh. I'm not so happy right now. Yeah. So ha- I was going to say, the Patriots ain't so happy right now. Just want to throw that out there quick. Let's start with the picks. Pittsburgh Steelers at Baltimore Ravens. Wow. Minus- Here we go. Here we go. Start them up hot. Start them up hot. Minus four. Who for who? Who who? The Ravens. No. I'm going Pitts. Pittsburgh. Right. Hands down. Confidence pick. Off the top. Confidence. Confidence pick. pick. Where's the game? It's in Pittsburgh. No, it's in Baltimore. It is? Yeah. I'm still, still going, going Pittsburgh. <laughs> still confident pick. I'm going Ravens. LA Rams at Miami Dolphins. Chua Tunga Vailoa, first start. Rams minus three and a half. I'm going Rams. First time playing Tua? Nah. Not happening. I'm taking the Rams too. They're good. Five and two. They're having a good year. Having a good year figuring shit out. Who are you taking, Casey? I am taking the Rams. New York Jets at Kansas City, minus 19 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> is, this the, is this Le'Veon Bell's first game playing against the Jets? That's got to be one of the biggest spreads ever. <laughs> oh, my word. I'm serious. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's really insane. Oh, my word. 19 and a half. Put me down for Kansas City. They're going to blow him out. Le'Veon Bell's first game, he's going to go off. They're going to destroy him. Game's in Kansas City too, right? Yep. Yeah. That, yeah. I Put me down for the 19 and a half points. Ninth biggest spread in history. Oh, really? No way. Yeah. I'm going Kansas City. I can't take the Jets. <laughs> I can't. I should have last week, but I can't. No uh, way. I'm going Kansas City too. The Jets covered for you last week. They did. You did for good me? last week. Yeah. Good. They All did right, good. I got the Jets, I mean. What? So who are you taking? 
make sure Joey... Joey, make sure you listen to this very carefully. He just said both fucking teams. <laughs> Let's try again. Kansas City or the, the Jets? I'm going with... That's a lot of points. It's a lot of points. It's Mahomes. It's going to be a clinic. It's a varsity playing the freshman. You got Mahomes. You going, I got the Jets. Beyond. I got the Jets on points. Wow. Wow. I the Casey. Joey, make sure you put that in. Jets with the points for Ostrich. <laughs> Minnesota Vikings at the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are minus six. At Green Bay? Put me at down Green for Green Bay. Bay. I'll take Green Bay. They whooped them earlier in the year. Joey has the Cousins. Packers minus six. Oh, what, what's Joey's pick for the Kansas City game? He didn't pick. What? Yeah. What do you mean he didn't pick? He but he's already did this one? He was, he's only done a few. He's only done, and uh, I forgot to do his Rams one. He did the Rams minus three and a half, but he didn't do the Steelers, and he didn't do the Chiefs. I mean, you got to do the fucking St- – Joey, you got to do the Steelers game. Bro. Who do you got, Packers or uh, Minnesota? I got Green Bay. Indianapolis Earned Colts, time. minus three at Detroit Lions. What? Ooh. What? Ooh. The Colts are favored by three? Yeah. Ooh. I'm going Detroit. I wish I had my sweatshirt. I'm going Detroit. Too. Detroit, and that's my confidence pick. I'm that's with your you. Confidence pick. I'm yeah. going Both? confidence with you. <laughs> All right, I'm going Detroit too, but it's not my confidence. Pick. <laughs> All right. Las Vegas Raiders at Cleveland Browns. The Browns are minus two and a half, and Joey has the Raiders money line. So wow. he's he's taking the Ra- Raiders just to win, not not. Uh, yeah, not he's taking the Raiders. Not to win. the spread. He's not taking the spread. Well, what fun is that? It makes more money. Because they're underdogs, so if you take them to win outright, you make more money. Gotcha. I'm taking the Raiders' spread. You're taking the the spread, too? I'm taking, no, the spread, yeah. The money line? No. No, We don't don't do that here. We don't do that here. We're doing based on the fucking lines. We're not doing that here. Joey fucking does what he's got to (laughs) do. Live free or die. Give me the the Raiders. (laughs) I got the Cleveland Browns. All right, Tennessee Titans, minus five and a half at Cincinnati Bengals. I'm going to Tennessee. Put me down for Tennessee. I got the Cincinnati Bengals. Wow. On the line? On the line. On the points? On the points. We don't do money lines. I'm just asking you a question, Casey. You didn't well, say you what the answer. Well, I'm just saying. New England Patriots. Oh, boy. Here at Buffalo go. Bills. Ugh. Minus four. Bills are only fucking fair by four? I got the Bills. I got the Bills, too. This is not even... This is That's my confidence pick. I think I'm going 10 for 10 with my picks. I'm, I'm, That's my confidence pick. I'm feeling And it, it kills me to say this. It fucking kills me to say that. But the Bills are my confidence pick. They're my confidence pick, too. That's my second confidence I'm pick. I'm going New England. Wow. wow. Back on track. All right. I don't see it. Let's go. Next one. L.A. Chargers at Denver Broncos. The Chargers are minus three and a half. This is like a trap game. Trap. I can see Denver winning this. They had great success against them in the past. I'm going Denver. Yeah, home dogs, I'm taking Denver. Divisional game, Denver. Put me down for the Chargers. I got the Chargers. San Francisco 49ers. Add Seattle Seahawks, minus three. Seahawks, Seahawks minus home. three? Yeah. I got the Seahawks. It's in Seattle, you said, right? Yeah, Joey has the, the Seahawks, minus three. So Put he, me down for Seattle. He also has an asterisk next to his. I don't know I'm why. doing Seattle, too. That's a pick social. We all took Seattle. What the fuck does that mean? We all picked it. We all did the same pick. I think we could do that. Is that a term? Yeah. That's I think cool. I think we've done that on a few other picks though too. Yeah. I think. That's Not cool. sure, but check the tape. Nice. Next. New Orleans Saints minus four and a half at Chicago Bears. I got the Bears. I'm I going, like the I'm Bears go, too. I'm going with the Saints. Oh, when the Saints go marching. I like the Bears. Long week for Chicago. Yeah, they look like ass. Mini buy. Yeah. Give me the Saints. They gotta get back on track. All right. Michael Thomas playing? Oh yeah. He is? I don't know. Dallas Cowboys at Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are minus nine. Here we go. I am hammering the Eagles. I'm hammering the Eagles too. Uh, yep. Dallas. That's is a awful. social. That's that's yeah. That's not even close. All right, guys. That's all we got for you today. Thanks for listening. If you're watching on the podcast, and then also. If you guys want to watch Advice Fridays, that'll be posted right after this, too. Tune on in to Advice Fridays. Coming soon. All right. Boom.